Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Auto Backsplash video tutorial. You've asked for it, we've delivered. We've created a new Auto Backsplash feature, makes it quick, simple, and easy for you to install your backsplashes once your kitchen's been done. Let's scroll down and take a look and see how cool this new feature is. Here I've got a basic design open. Um, I've just got base cabinets in and my countertops. I haven't went ahead and put wall cabinets in. Uh, typically I would do that before I put my countertops in, but in this case I want you to be able to see what the backsplashes are and where they're at, so I left the wall cabinets out. So for those of you with eagle eyes, you've already noticed we've got a new icon over here. And this is our backsplash icon, so once I've got my countertop set, I come over, click on backsplash, you notice a new little set of outlines around everything, I've got backsplash. Okay, so now that we've got our backsplashes on, let's just go up, take a 3D, see what we got. Alright, here we go. Here we got backsplash. All right, and those of you again with the eagle eyes, you're looking at the stove, going, um, Paul, oh, there's, um, yeah, there's something going on over there. Yep, there sure is. And no, it's not a mistake. It's a feature on purpose. So you'll notice that we had the side splashes here on the range. Obviously, you don't want that. So what you do is you come in here on your backsplash and you just right-click on your splash anywhere on the group. We're going to choose backsplash we're going to go to edit. From edit mode we're going to simply right click again right here on our line and here's, here's all the options we now have for our, our side splash. We could extrude it, we could intersect it, we could add a point, we could radius end. You'll notice we can't delete it but we do have disable. Now if we delete it it gives you a goofy little angle going across there. So what we want to do really is we want to disable it. So we're going to click on disable now I've disabled this. You'll notice my crosshairs are, or my cursor is still a crosshair, so I'm still in my edit feature. So escape on your keyboard will take you out of the edit feature, or you can click up here on the select icon. That will also take you out of the edit feature. So I've taken off the edit. I'm out of edit. I'm going to go create a 3D. And now I, I just removed the one side just for demonstration purposes here. So here we go. We've got our side splash has been removed. Okay, I'm going to come in here now and remove the other side splash just so as a refresher because you are going to use this frequently. Backsplash, edit, right click, disable. There we go. Escape takes us out of the feature. So now we've got our backsplash over there. There's a few other tricks we can play with our backsplash. Want a different color? No problem. Uh, attributes, texture, Default will always be your matching countertop color. Special feature or special color will take you in and let you set any color on there. Let's do granite. Let's do black granite. There we go. That out of pop. Granite number one. Here, let's do a 3D. There we go. Granite number one on our backsplash. Um, you'll notice it only changed the splash on that particular grouping that I selected so you'd want to go change it for the rest of your kitchen. We can also do things like you don't want a 4 inch backsplash? Alright. General, how about a 6 inch backsplash? No problem. Um, you need to radius a corner, radius an end, radius a line, under attribute, whoops, uh, not my walls, there we go, backsplash, go to edit, right click on your line again, here's all your all your options, you've got extrude, intersect, add a point, radius and end, delete line, or disable, again, the disable will take your, will make it not showing back there, however, once you disable one, you can come back in here and enable it again, your point menu, notch, bevel, move, delete point, Again, full full banquet there of uh, um, edit features, so you can go in and edit your countertop just exactly how you like it. We'll take a 3D of that so you can see the 6 inch tall splash. There you go, there's my 
six inch splash versus my standard splash got splash on the island and there you have it quick simple and easy takes uh, all the time out of building your backsplash so there you have Pro Kitchen Auto Backsplash in new version 4.5 thank you for watching this video demo enjoy this new feature